So this winter we got a call from Old Town Kayak because they had a new line of kayaks coming out that they were being super secretive about. They couldn't tell us anything about them. They said, we just need you to report down to Florida. We're gonna reveal the whole line and show you what these new kayaks are all about. So down in Florida, it was revealed, Old Town has launched the new Sportsman line of kayaks. It's seven new boats with three ways to travel, pedal, paddle, and power. So Old Town is known for two of their fishing kayaks, the Predator and the Topwater. The Predator's been around for a while. It's an award-winning kayak, really popular with fishermen, uh, very good at open water, saltwater fishing, can handle the big seas. The Topwater, a uh, newer boat, it's based on a double U-shaped hull, very stable, a little more portable, comes in a 106 and a 120 size. And so they form the first three of the seven new boats that are part of the Sportsman line. The top water comes in two models, the 106 and the 120. That's a 10 foot, six inch haul and a 12 foot haul. They're fairly new, so there's no major upgrades with the new rebranding other than an upgraded seat. Now the Predator becomes the Old Town Sportsman Big Water PDL 132. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Predator PDL kayak, so that gets some new rebranding, gets the new seat as well, and becomes part of the Sportsman line. So those are the first three hulls. The fourth hull is also a rebranding of the Discovery 119 Solo Sportsman. Now that's kind of a cross between a canoe and a kayak, super lightweight, but another great boat that's available in the Sportsman line. So those are the first four. The other three are really the brand new, the really exciting reveals that are coming up with this Old Town Sportsman line. The first one is the Salty PDL 120. And this is a really exciting boat because it's a great entry point for anybody who's trying to get into pedal kayaks hands-free kayak fishing with the pedal kayak. And the way it's been set up is with lots of great fishing, um, lots of great fishing features. Three rod holders, there's uh, tracks for gear and things like that. But it's a simple platform, so it keeps the cost down and it makes it really easy if it's something that you want to try and get into fishing a pedal kayak for the first time. So the sixth boat is the 106 powered by Minn Kota. And it's based on the Topwater 106 hull, but it has a drop-in Minn Kota motor. And it's a very simple, uncluttered platform. It's a great way to get into power kayaking. It has a boat-style throttle on the right side that goes forward and reverse, and then foot pedals for steering. Very easy, very intuitive, nice and lightweight. So for a power kayak, this is one that you can actually put on your car top pretty easily and transport to, to anywhere that you want to go use this and go fishing. So the seventh boat is the one that got me really excited. This is what this launch is really all about. So this is the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot. It comes in a 120 and a 136, a 12 foot boat, which I got to try out down in Florida and a 13 foot six inch boat, which is the one I have right in front of me here. And what's so exciting about this boat is that it comes with the GPS-enabled Minn Kota motor. So this gives you the opportunity to use spot lock in a kayak. A few years ago, it was pretty rare to see a trolling motor on a boat, on a center console or on a larger saltwater boat. Now you've got more and more boats that are putting a Minn Kota trolling motor on that boat because it gives you the opportunity to use GPS-enabled spot lock. And basically what that means is using a trolling motor like an anchor. So rather than dropping anchor on a spot, you hit a button and because the trolling motor is GPS enabled, it just holds you in, that, in place in that spot. We've used it for everything from uh, striped bass fishing in current, to fishing for black sea bass on a wreck, to blackfish fishing on a rock pile. The spot lock really has revolutionized the way that we fish in salt water. And now, Old Town and Minn Kota have brought that to a kayak fishing platform. It gets said way too often, but it really is a game changer. So when I was down in Florida, I got to try the 12-foot version. I had a lot of fun just using it to maneuver around the canals in Florida. Once I had a fish on and was fighting a fish, I set that spot lock, and then I didn't have to worry about the kayak drifting into shore or into boat traffic, and I could just stay still and fight fish. In one day of fishing down in Florida, it felt like something like from this point forward, it's like, I don't know how I'm gonna do without this. That was the 12-footer. The 12-footer is a great haul for freshwater, for near shore fishing, inshore. The 13-foot six, um, this is the boat that I think in the Northeast in New England, where you're gonna to wanna to go offshore a bit, where you're gonna to wanna to chase uh, stripers into bigger water. This one is gonna be huge for fishermen in the Northeast. And so before I get into the details on the Minn Kota, I'm just gonna talk about the hull really quick and all the great features. Um, the hull itself is based again on that top water style hull. So it has a double sort of tunnel hull, kind of like a catamaran, keeps it super stable, um, rides really well in rough water really what you've come to expect from the Old Town Topwater Kayaks. Now you've got it in this 13 foot, six inch platform. So the Minn Kota motor here, 45 pounds of thrust, runs off a deep cycle battery that fits under the seat. 
and it drops in and out really easily. The release is on the other side of the kayak, so I'll show that off in a minute. It is GPS enabled, it's controlled with a remote control, and that really is the key to the system, is that you can sit in your seat with the remote control, you can steer the, the Minn Kota itself, or you can just set it straight ahead and use the foot pedals to steer the rudder in the back. It has the anchor symbol right on the remote, so you hit that and that's your GPS enabled spot lock. It's gonna hold you right in place, right where you wanna be. Also has an autopilot feature too, so you can set the direction you wanna go, hit that autopilot, and then you just can fish an entire shoreline just letting the autopilot carry you along. So the boat's also loaded with lots of fishing friendly features like we've seen on the Predator and the Topwater. It includes EVA floor foam padding, um, this makes it really easy to stand up, makes, it for a, uh, makes a quiet boat, which is important if you're fishing shallow water flats and things like that. You've got these adjustable steering pedals, so you can use your feet to steer, and again, you can use your feet to steer with the rudder while you let the Minn Kota run straight ahead, or you can use them both to steer at the same time. Gear tracks, super easy now. You want to mount a fish finder, you want to mount a rod holder, other accessories. Very easy to just drop them into this track, allows you to adjust and remove when you want to. It comes pre-drilled, so you're not drilling any holes in this to mount a fish finder. So if you put your fish finder screen here, you can run cables to the transducer and to the battery right through this hole. So moving back, you've got here, this is the kill switch. So safety here. This is a kill switch. It also doubles as a prop wrench. Um, it's got an extra pin here. So if you have any issues with the prop out on the water, you got a prop wrench always handy. Magnetic kill switch snaps in there. The other side clips to you. And so if you do go over, cuts the motor off. It's a good safety feature. The seat is a big upgrade. Um, it's similar to past Old Town seats in that it has high-low adjustment, but it's a big improvement. It's ventilated. It's got much more cushioning. Uh, again, I got to fish for this from this for a full day in Florida. The seat is great. The seat is a big upgrade, very comfortable. Um, and then again, with the hull being as stable as it is, you can set this seat up a little higher if you want to be able to see better, or you can set lower if you're covering ground and want to keep moving faster. And of course the seat, not just comfortable, very adjustable, easy to adjust with straps, easy to remove also when you're traveling. And so we lift this up. Here's your battery mount for the trolling motor. Deep cycle marine battery goes right in there. Plenty of power if it's a good battery and you got it charged up, you should be able to go all day with this, with this setup. Now the tank well on the entire Sportsman line, you can tell that Old Town paid a lot of attention to this. Tons of room. So what they've done is they've opened up the tank wells on the, every kayak in this lineup and it allows you to drop in big crates if you've got lots of tackle that you want to take off or big coolers. So you've got to say you've got like a big Yeti cooler that you want to be able to bring fishing with you. You can drop that in here. You can see plenty of room back here. You can do a cooler and maybe a live well if that's something that, that makes sense for your fishing. Tons of options and again two more gear tracks here so you can do two more mounts. Um, do a GoPro mount back here to film you while you fish. Do an extra rod holder. Um, plenty of options. That's the whole idea. Very customizable and super easy to customize for how you fish. The squared off stern, it's got two molded in handles here. Now this is a big kayak, but it's a little easier to move around because of the molded in handles and smart things like these handles in the back here. So it allows you to lift it and move it when you need to. There's a shallow water anchor mount here. If you want a mount right here, you can do one of the pole anchor mounts. Um, not really popular yet in the Northeast. You see that a lot in the Southeast fisheries, but who knows, maybe there are some applications for it here in the Northeast. So in the stern of the boat, you've got this extra large rudder. This is also new that we're seeing on the Sportsman kayaks, and this is necessary for that foot steering. So when you're using the Minn Kota motor to power you along, you're foot steering, and you're controlling this extra large rudder. Now, dropping the rudder, same as we've seen on other Old Town kayaks, you've got a lever on the side right here. Real easy to just pull that up and that drops the rudder down. The Minn Kota unit, it's all one piece. When you arrive where you're gonna fish, it's pretty easy to just drop it in there. It clips in the front and then there's a plug on the right side to plug it in to give it power. So once you've arrived at your fishing spot and you've dropped this unit in, it's very easy to bring it up and down depending on what you're doing. If you're, if you're coming into shore or shallow water, you just release it and it automatically springs right up. To drop it down easy enough, just pull the handle and it goes right back down and you're ready to get fishing again. So overall, I think what's most exciting about this boat is that you now have this marriage between the Minn Kota spot lock and a fishing platform, this 136, which really is ready for anything you can get into in the Northeast. From inshore shallow fishing to taking this offshore into bigger water, we're chasing stripers doing bottom fishing. So all that type of stuff where you really are gonna wanna use something like 
a Minn Kota spot lock to hold you in a place in current, in strong tidal current to fish um, certain bottom structure. I'm gonna get this rigged up next with a Humminbird Helix unit, and then I can use that as well to, to have that fish finder capability to really find hot spots and then use the Minn Kota to lock in, spot lock on those spots and really target my fishing. So stay tuned and hopefully the next video you see is me getting this boat out on the water and catching some fish.